Like and subscribe or you'll have two weeks of bad luck. Death can be a scary thing to think about. No one really knows what happens after. However, these animals in our video today may be able to shed some light on that for us. Today, we are going over 10 animals that can live after death. Number 10, the salamander. We just have to kick off our list today with this stubborn animal that refuses to give up on life. Life is beautiful and the salamander wants to live it to the fullest. This animal has long been ascribed to immortality. Since they are believed to have magical powers, their fascinating ability to regenerate body parts is out of this world. When any part of the salamander's body is cut off, it regrows, and these new parts perform the same function as the original ones. There's no need for surgeries, no prosthetics, it just happens they have special proteins in their body that facilitate the replication of cells. These proteins are also found in humans, but in smaller quantities. This is why we heal from physical wounds but cannot regenerate new body parts. Since the salamanders have these exceptional qualities, scientists have been studying them and looking for ways humans can benefit from them. Number 9. Octopus Tentacles Octopus tentacles can react up to an hour after being severed from their dead owner and even try to pick up food and feed a phantom mouth. These creatures are known for their hyperintelligence, but the fact is that the majority of their neurons are in their tentacles rather than their brains. And just like flatworms, octopi can regenerate their tentacles when they're cut off. In certain parts of the world, eating this dismembered, still living tentacle is considered a delicacy, called sun akai. Some people even eat a whole octopus octopus while it's still alive, though this is much less common. The octopus, which you've been chopping to pieces, is feeling pain every time you do it. It's just as painful as if it were a fish or a rabbit you were to chop off and wrap its leg off pieces by pieces. So it's a barbaric thing to do according to animal neurologists. And for some people, this cruel practice comes with just desserts. Apparently, these live tentacles are quite common to choking hazards, and people are frequently hospitalized for complications from the dish. Though the tentacle itself cannot generate a new body, the octopus is a remarkable creature that can reproduce tentacles once they're severed. Number 8. Frogs Many people derive pleasure in watching frogs croak. Gardeners also permit them to control pests in the garden. You'll love them more when you learn of their exceptional abilities. Frogs are able to move around after their brain is dead. When scientists received reports of some headless animals running around, they swung into action. Turns out that the frog is actually an animal that didn't need their heads to survive. In fact, a frog can do so much without its head. When Dr. David Ferrario in the 19th century removed a frog's brain, he wanted to know what the outcome would be after the research. He concluded that a brainless frog behaves the same way as one with a brain. Now, how did he know that? After the brain was removed, the experimental frog was made to lie upside down, but it raised itself back up. It also croaks as healthy frogs do. So if we say the brain controls all aspects of the body, this rule certainly does not apply to frogs. Number seven, the squid. Similar to the octopus, the squid is a cephalopod that lives in the ocean and has a small internal skeleton. The two long tentacles are used to grab prey and the eight arms to hold and control it. The beak then cuts the food into suitable sized chunks for swallowing. And akin to sunnaki, a dish called dancing squid is popular throughout Korea and Japan. When soy sauce is poured atop a dead squid, it begins to move frantically. The cephalopod's body lifts up and riles in the bowl, promoting viewers to ask if it is really dead. In fact, the reason the cuttlefish appears to dance on top of the rice inside the bowl is not because it's still alive, but because latent electrical impulses are traveling throughout its muscle neurons. A phenomenon the soy sauce you pour over it before you eat it intensifies this. This is part of the reason why chefs tend to kill the animals only minutes or even seconds before they're served. If you wait too long, the tissue will be too dead to dance. This is a relief for animal rights activists because although the dish still involves the death of an animal, at least it's not tortured before it goes. Number 6. Flatworms 
Call them masters of regeneration, if you will, since they can rebuild any part of their body after it's been amputated. Cut them into 20 pieces and you will have 20 new worms, which are a perfect replica of the parent worm. Most animals wear out as they age, thus causing them to malfunction and eventually die. The flatworm can not only regenerate old dead cells, but it can grow a new tail gut and brain, even if it's cut into pieces. Dr. Aziz Abu Baker, headed a research team from Nottingham University that cloned a few thousand flatworms, starting from one worm cut into two, and then he noted that these worms reproduced asexually by simply splitting into two and regenerating their vital organs repeatedly. The secret of this animal's life after death is embedded in the DNA called telomere. Every time a cell divides, the telomere gets shorter for mortal animals. Flatworms can maintain the telomere length indefinitely, since they can continue to replicate for as long as they want to. Dr. Abu Baker and his team also demonstrated that this animal maintains the head of their chromosomes and adult stem cells which accounts for their immortality. Number 5. Turtles Everyone knows that turtles possess more longevity than almost any animal on Earth. These creatures can live to be about 80 years old, roughly, as much as the average human lifespan. But there are a number of unique qualities that make the turtle a truly remarkable animal for one thing. It can live without the function of its heart. Marine mammals like whales, seals, porpoises are able to shut off the circulation to all parts of their body, except their brain, while they dive. So the brain keeps giving oxygen. But the turtle has no such system. Its brain is simply able to go without oxygen. And turtles can be frozen in water and still continue to survive. Their circulatory systems slow down to an absolute crawl, and they can survive with oxygen deficiency for months at a time. In case you ever wondered what happens to our reptilian friends when the temperature drops below freezing, this is your answer. Though they are not technically dead, turtles can enter a fugue state and become lucid months later when they are thought of out of the ice. Number 4. Snakes Snakes are scary creatures while they're alive, and even after they're dead. They give you a reason to still be scared. Here's one story that proves the point that snakes still alive after death are terrifying. UK Daily Monitor reported that a Chinese chef who was caught unaware while preparing a cobra soup, a Chinese delicacy, was bitten by the cobra he assumed was dead. This story may sound eerie, but scientific evidence confirms his claim. Snakes, some species of reptiles and amphibians, are are known to retain their reflexes after death, and this played out in the case of the Chinese chef. The chef picked up the snake's head only 20 minutes after chopping it off, and this creature didn't find it funny. The snake's head grabbed his hand and quickly had a bite. These movements are motivated by electrically charged particles called ions, which remain in the animal's nerve system for several hours after it's dead. Therefore, when a snake recently dies, it shouldn't be triggered, else their nerves will open up and allow ions to pass freely. This means that their muscles are enabled for reflexive actions like biting. Number 3. The Cockroach It is said that after a nuclear apocalypse, cockroaches will inherit the earth, and anyone who has experienced an infestation knows that these pests are virtually impossible to kill. For example, a cockroach possesses a higher immunity against radiation than humans. It can hold its breath for as long as 40 minutes, and it can last for weeks without food. And to make them even more amazing, cockroaches can survive up to 10 weeks without their head. Ultimately, they will pass away due to desiccation or starvation, obviously. It is difficult to feed oneself without a mouth. The main reason that cockroaches are able to survive decapitation is because they have a closed circulatory system. There are studies that go all the way back to the 1960s that focus on cockroaches' cognitive function, post-mortem. They discovered that cockroaches can even learn without their brains in the experiment. The cockroaches would be held over a saline solution that delivered a shock to one of their legs. Over time, the roaches would learn, even without a head, to try and keep that leg raised in order to avoid the shock. This shocked scientists, and they still don't fully understand how the nervous system can accomplish this amazing task. Number 2. Iguanas 
People in Florida woke up to the shocking sight of falling iguanas from trees. Temperature dropped below the freezing point, which paralyzed them and led to iguana rain. They were frozen, appearing to be dead, only to come back to life a few hours later. Well, it wasn't the apocalypse, but it was nature playing on our human intelligence. While these animals were not breathing and looked dead, they were temporarily immobilized due to the freezing. Since it was a sight to behold, people took snapshots of the dead creatures, and soon it tended across all social media platforms. Scientists warned that the iguanas shouldn't be touched as they could harm humans even in their dead state. During cold weather, the blood in their body cools down and gradually they freeze because their body is not adapted to cooler temperatures. Few hours after exposure to the sun, these iguanas got up and went their way. Impressive, isn't it? However, if the temperature keeps rising, they could die. Number 1. The Fruit Fly it is a common theme among these animals. Many of them are not reliant on their brain to function, and the common fruit fly is no exception. Researchers recently discovered that flies continue to respond to light under conditions where they shouldn't be able to, namely when their physical movement is dulled by high doses of anesthesia, and more astoundingly when their heads have been severed from their bodies. Headless flies are known to maintain posture walking around and train to new circadian rhythms, engage in defensive behavior against conspecifics, and even learn to avoid a shock. They are even faster than flies with heads. That's right, for some reason flies are actually more perceptive without their heads. So why is their head a hindrance and not a help? For now, science does not have an answer to this question, but it is clear that fruit flies are not reliant on their head or their tiny brains. That's all for our video today. Let us know which one surprised you the most down in the comment section. And make sure you leave a like and subscribe, or you'll have two weeks of bad luck.